in one way, it was a very straightforward celebration of a funeral mass, as would take place at the death of any Catholic in any parish church. And yet, in another way, it was a uniquely historical event and an event of great emotional depth and stature. I think we can say it's the first time that a Pope has buried a Pope who has just died. And in that sense, there was a uniqueness to it. But I think it also was a moment in which, for me, certainly, there was a heightened sense of loss. For me, a sense of my own sadness at um, that at Benedict is no longer with us in person. And yet at the same time, the ceremony was unshakable expression of faith and trust in the promises of Jesus. So we had both sadness and hope. We had the grief of loss and the certainty of faith. And there was some words used in one of the prayers which appealed to me particularly and it was an appeal to Mary Salus Populi Romani that she would intercede, that Benedict would now see the face of Jesus and that we would be comforted on our pilgrim way. And those words touched me, I think, because I reflected on how much Benedict his life and his spirituality was focused on a relationship with Jesus. Uh, those books that he wrote about Jesus of Nazareth in some ways summed up not only his learning, but also his spirituality and his prayer. And we learned the other day that Archbishop Ganschwein, who knows him better than anybody did, was saying that it was that image of Jesus always accompanying the church, always being with the church, that was the most radically fundamental thing in Pope Benedict's life. And I was thinking of the time when I was in St. Peter's Square when he gave his last homily as, as serving Pope before he, the next day, I think it was, left for Castle Gandolfo. And in that homily that he gave, he used the image of Jesus asleep in the back of the boat when the storm came on the Sea of Galilee and the disciples got frightened. And um, Archbishop Gansain repeated that and gave a little gloss on it. And he said, Benedict used to say, but now Jesus never sleeps and is always with us. So I think during the, uh, the Mass, I was thinking about those things. And quite simply, how lovable Benedict was. And therefore, thanking God for the gifts that he gave us through him.